Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. It just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. What I want to do today is I want to show you one item that I purchased probably six or seven years ago that I used one or two things in it and just realized over time I kind of blew my money on it because it came in a kit, it looked really cool, it was on sale at Christmas time and I said, oh, I could really use that. As it turns out, it was actually less expensive for me to purchase the items I used in it separately. Let me show you what that is. This kit by DeWalt holds an enormous amount of items in it that you would think, ooh, I'm going to really use that over time. Well, let's take a look inside and see. It does house an awful lot of things. The box is really nice. It's very strong. I like the way it's constructed. I've got a uh, clear top box here that I could probably put some screws and whatnot in. This little tray is magnetic, so if I wanted to, I could take this out and I could take it someplace and put it and make sure that and make sure that the, the screws and nuts and bolts or whatever I've got on here doesn't float away. But right here, these are all flatheads. Multiple size flatheads. And how many screws do you use these days that have flat, need flathead screwdrivers? And these here are the stars for screw heads that have stars, more stars. Then they start going into square heads. Now, here in the United States, you don't see too many of the square heads. Up in Canada, you certainly do. And quite honestly, the square head is really the way to go. It's better than the flat head. It's better than the Phillips head which is right here. I got a whole row of Phillips heads, different sizes, which is great, but you typically use the number two because they, that is the most universal one. If I can find a plethora of boxes that have, that use the, that use the square head top on it, I'd be getting those exclusively, but I just can't seem to get them readily. There are a few other items like long, this is a long uh, Phillips head, this is a long flat head. Then we've got a couple of uh, items here that have the uh, hex heads on them so you can use them for hex head bolts or if you're tightening up a ring on a, uh, like a compression ring that goes on some plumbing, um, that would be handy. But you don't want to tighten it too tight or else you're going to snap it and that's not good either. Over on this side, you have drill bits which is great. The drill bits are wonderful and that, that, is, that is really, really nice. But in a previous video, I had already mentioned that, quite honestly, I prefer the Milwaukee's. I find that they're more durable, and I, I, these particular ones here are just for wood. When I buy drill bits, I buy them so they're good for wood, metal, and, and any other... If I could get them for wood, metal, and concrete, I would. These are specifically for wood and they're going to dull out re relatively quickly because if they're just for wood, they're kind of soft. Again, we've got some more longer um, uh, Phillips heads, square heads, star heads, as opposed to the shorter ones over on this side. And we have some, of the, some more of the uh, ratchet type looking um, hex head extenders so you can go ahead and get into tighter spots. Now, logically, when you open this up, you're enamored with everything that's in there. Ooh, look at all that stuff. How much of it are you actually going to use? You might use the drill bits, but for the cost of this entire unit, the drill bits were less expensive. How often do I use any of these? Very rare, if ever. I haven't pulled one of these out and I've had this thing for six years. All I'm saying is, if you're going to buy something, just like if you're going to buy router bits, buy the ones that you need right then and there. 
they're going to be less expensive if you purchase them separately than they would if you were going to buy an entire kit and only use one or two out of the 10 that you get. So it's, it's this whole kit, like I said, looks great. It's very consolidated. Everything is in its place. It's kind of a waste of money. Uh, it's a great Christmas gift for somebody who, who you don't know what to buy for. Uh, and then you can say, I, I was thinking of you because you're a handy person and this might be of use to you. But for me, personally, I kind of wasted my money on this. Now I'm not hammering DeWalt because I know that Milwaukee's got the same thing. So does Bosch and so does um, uh, Ryobi. And so do all of the other manufacturers. They have little kits like this. All I'm saying is, if you're gonna buy something, buy what you need, not what you want. If you always buy what you need, you'll always have money in your pocket. If you buy what you want, you'll always be broke. And you're gonna have a bunch of stuff that all it does is fill up your shelves in your workshop and collects a lot of dust. So just be smart with what you're buying. Buy the tools that you need. Buy the tools that you need. If you need any advice on that, just, just let me know. Just throw some comments down at the bottom. And by the way, there's a uh, little red button somewhere down there. If you would, please um, uh, push that button to subscribe. That would be wonderful. Thank you very much. And um, I'll see you on the next video.